Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I got a note yesterday from a man named Jonathan Gott. He said, Steve, check this out. I've written an article about a very, very important thing, and I think you should talk about this. And I've enclosed a copy or attached a copy of the article. And here's the deal. Uh, during the pandemic, but even before that, uh, schools uh, started uh, providing children with Chromebooks and pads and all kinds of high-tech stuff so they could you know, log into the internet for class or do homework at home on it, that kind of thing. And uh, a lot of times they would be making these big, big purchases uh, because if we got to buy one for every single kid in the district, it's going to be a gigantic purchase. And that can cost a lot of money. So they would go out and negotiate these deals with different vendors, right? Well, it turns out that there was kind of a ticking time bomb in all of this. And now the good news is that Chromebooks got an 11th hour reprieve, keeping them alive in Canadian schools. Now, this is happening in Canada, but I believe similar things could be happening here in America. I know people whose children have gotten these things from school, and the question is, if they got a Chromebook right around that time, what kind of uh, updates were they guaranteed as part of that contract? So support for thousands of pandemic-era Chromebooks in Canadian schools was set to expire next year. So they actually had a, a, a deadline they were going to expire on. Those cheap Chromebooks came with a catch. The laptop's software updates had expired, meaning their lifespan had technically come to an end. Now, Google announced that Chromebooks from the 2021 model year onwards will automatically receive 10 years of updates, and select models from before that can opt in to receive the extended support. This is significant. Uh, for schools across Canada that rushed to buy hundreds of thousands of Chromebooks uh, during the pandemic's onset for at-home learning. Within a few years, many of those devices would have been rendered almost useless without the updates that Google is now promising. The updates are oftentimes security, and you want those things to remain secure if kids are using them. The devices became big business during the pandemic. Chromebook sales to the Canadian education market grew from about 379,000 units in 2019 to 668,000 units the next year. Last year, nearly 70% of all educational devices sold in Canada were Chromebooks. Now, Google isn't the only firm that's targeted the education market as a major customer. That playbook was important in Apple's early days, you might recall, when it began selling computers to Minnesota public schools in 1978. <laughs> And then it helped pioneer elementary classrooms' adoption of computers in the 1980s with their uh, graphical interface. While there are some Windows laptops and iPads geared toward the education sector, Chromebooks don't have any competitors at the same price point that offer the same reliability with a keyboard. Chromebooks are pretty much the de facto, says a Toronto area consumer electronics journalist. For example, the Toronto District School Board committed to buying 136,000 of them for a $41 million price tag in 2021, and Nova Scotia's ministry spent $21.5 million for about $32,000 in 2020. Until yesterday, however, software support for Chromebooks typically lasted five years, meaning many pandemic-era devices were destined for the trash heap or to become kind of unsafe to use beginning this year. Unlike operating systems like Microsoft Windows XP, which received support for over a decade, the Chromebook software comes with an expiration date imposed by Google, leaving many schools with what is becoming just basically e-waste. Google's extension will give these devices a new lease on life. Even earlier versions sold before 2021 will now have the option to extend automatic updates to 10 years from the platform's release. All Chromebook platforms will get regular automatic updates for 10 years, more than any other operating system commits to today. Now, in May of 2020, the Winnipeg School Division, one of six in the Manitoba capital, announced it would provide 2,700 Chromebooks and iPads to students. The choice came down to price and availability during supply chain disruptions. Uh, that's the uh, division's manager speaking. We went with what we could get and we, we, with the funds that have been allocated. Similarly, Quebec and Nova Scotia's ministries of education have over 193,000 and 125,000 Chromebooks, respectively, at their schools. So there's a ton of these things out there. But even without the updates, the Chromebooks still function as a basic web browser and word processor, right? They still work. So for students who don't need it as anything more than just a device for taking notes, doing their research online and cranking out a report or an essay, it should work well past four or five years 
if you take care of it, okay? Uh, for now, it's unclear what might happen to Winnipeg's Chromebooks next year as the school division's technology budget hasn't been released yet. Um, will we replace every single Chromebook next year that was purchased for in-home learning during the pandemic? Likely not. So prior to the extended software updates, school technicians could only extend the service life of a Chromebook by using third-party updates. No one likes those. But the 10-year guarantee will outlast the laptops themselves, so kudos to Google for doing this, he said. It gives users the peace of mind knowing their data will be protected for the life of the hardware. So this story ran uh, on a site called The Logic. The Logic. And Jonathan Gott sent me the note along with this, and Steve, check this out, because a lot of schools bought these devices and gave them to kids. That's great. Kids have got the device now. But if they don't do the security updates along the way, they suddenly become not so great. And so you need to find out, if your school handed these out to kids, uh, how long are the updates good for? Is it a five-year update or a 10-year update? And that's primarily the key here, because a 10-year update means it'll probably get you <laughs> out of school. At that point, you don't care anymore. You don't care anymore. But it was a scary concept. And the thing about it is, okay, I understand that since I'm an older fellow, I am viewed skeptically by the young folk about my knowledge on computers. And um, I joke about it a lot, but I, I've got a couple computers. In fact, I've got two on my desk in front of me right now and two more about 10 feet that way uh, and a smartphone over there too. And here's the thing is that I think pretty much everybody understands that there's security issues on the internet at all times. And there's security issues to any device that's attached to the internet. And so you have to have these security updates, especially when they're being used by kids. So I don't care what you say. The kids of today might be tech literate way beyond anything we were at that age. <laughs> we didn't have smartphones yet. Uh, we still had phones that were bolted to the wall, okay? So... <laughs> Um, the point is that there are going to be kids in any class who are the ones who aren't tech savvy, who don't follow along, aren't thinking about security updates, and they're going to be the one whose device gets hacked or bricked or something bad's going to happen. So this is a good news story from The Logic, and Jonathan got sent that to me, and he wrote it and did all the research, and um, it's a good thing. But again, now we got to find out in other places, what the situation is with respect to those Chromebooks and how long the updates are good for. So, Jonathan, thanks for sending it. Otherwise, questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. If success were easy, everybody would do it.